Hello everyone, welcome to our Smart Intech YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be discussing solution for recent courtship contest. Okay, so let's dive into the first question of division three. So the first question here is swapping marks digits. So the question says that Alice scored uh, A marks and and Bob scored B marks in an exam, and both Alice and Bob. A and B are two digit numbers that means uh, and also one more thing here is this score for Alice and Bob it will not contain digit 0 okay and Alice wants her marks to display higher than Bob's so for this she can reverse her score and her Bob score what this statement mean what do you understand by this statement so here uh, in the statement it says that allies can either reverse her score means she can either reverse a which is allies scores or else she can either reverse bob score or else she can reverse both allies score that is a as well as bob score okay and so what we need to do we need to find a way for allies to display score higher than bob right so allies want to display her score higher than bob score so to do that she has these options one is reversing her score this uh, other one is reversing bob score other one is either reversing ally score or else reversing bob score and also she can skip uh, doing this reversal part she can skip doing this reversal part she can directly do it without reversing as well this is one more option so we have four option she can do she can perform any of these option to display her score greater than bob score right so let's understand more with the sample input and output so here the first case is 14 and 41 this is a that means ally score this is b this is bob score so first option is reversing ally score means we'll try checking reversing ally score so is it greater than b no what about reversing bob score 14 is it greater than a no what about reversing both the scores reversal of a will be 41 and reversal of b will be 14 so it is greater in this case we can display ally score greater than bob score right so that is the reason output is yes so if it is possible to display ally score greater than bob score then print yes else no i hope question is clear right let's see some more examples let's say uh, a has something like say 12 and b say 34 so let's see now with this so first of all we are trying to reverse a means if we reverse a it would be 21 is 21 greater than 34 no what about reversing bob score no because 12 is not greater than 43 uh, what about reversing both a and b reversing both ally score and bob score it would be 21 and bob score would be 43 still no what is the last option that is left uh, putting the same values putting the comparing the original values itself still no so none of these possibilities are being true so we cannot print ally score greater than bob score right so the output should be no so i hope the question is clear right so logic part here is very straightforward we'll we simply need to compare uh, reverse of a is greater than b or not 
reverse of b is greater uh, is less than a or not and reversal of a is greater than reversal of b or not and simply compare the last one is simply compare a with b so in logic this would be reversal of a if it is greater than b then we can show ally score greater than b or else we have one more option that is original value a with the reversal of b or else reversal of a with the reversal of b the last option is the original values a and b let's put it as capital right so this is our logic right so how do you get the reversal value for a and reverse value of b one thing that you can do is we already have a i hope you already know a function if you pass a number which will reverse the reverse number we can use the function by iterating on each digit and get the reverse value but if you observe here uh, in this question it is of two digit numbers so without even iterating on digits we can simply find the uh, reversal of that value directly so let's take an example and let's see how we can do that let's say we have a uh, value as 64 sorry 67 if we reverse this it it come out to be 76 so it is just that the last digit is placed at the first and first digit is placed at last so how do you get this last digit by doing mod with 10 by doing 67 mod 10 we'll get 7 and first digit by simply dividing by 10 we'll get these two values so we want to put 7 first we'll simply multiply 7 into 10 and simply add the 6 we'll get 76 so what is this 7 let's say we have stored the 67 in num and it is simply if i write the formula generic formula it would be num mod 10 into 10 plus num by 10 so with this we'll get the reversed value of the given num as this is 2 digit this will work right so i hope logic part is clear first we'll calculate the reversal of a and reversal of b and we'll simply check these conditions if any of these condition is true then we can say that we can form a sorry we can display the ally score greater than bob score so let's quickly jump into the code okay so first thing is we need to take the input first thing that is given in the input is the number of test cases for each test case we need to scan uh, ally score as well as bob score so let's create scanner object of system dot in then let's read the number of test cases next int then we'll iterate for the test case number of times be greater than zero and let's scan a and b the ally score and bob score so let's calculate the reverse value of a which is let's say we have function uh, let's put it as private static the return type should be in the reversed value of the given number let's name it as reverse let's say the value that passing are uh, that the value which we are passing is num uh, as discussed it is num mod 10 by this we'll get the last digit for this last digit we'll simply multiply with 10 so that it goes forward now we'll simply add num by 10 to it so by this we'll get the reversed value so we'll call this function by passing a so that we'll get reversed value for ally score and reverse of b will simply pass bob score to get the reversed value for bob score right so if you what are the conditions one is we can directly check the original score of 
Alice and Bob that is if Alice original score and Bob Alice original score is greater than Bob original score then we can print Alice score as greater or else reverse error of either of values let's go with trying reversal of a if it is greater than b then also it is possible to print ls score greater or else the original value of ls if it is greater than reversal value of pop then also we can print yes or else what is the last possibility what is the, the remaining check done if that we need to do reversing both the ls and bob score right so in these cases we should print yes as the output else print no uh, let's quickly run it so the output is as expected let's submit yeah so uh, so i hope everything is clear with this question let's jump into the second one okay so let's continue with the second one the second one second question is alternating binary string so the question says that you are given a binary string s of length n you can perform the following operation on it the operation here is we can choose an index from one till n uh, this is based on one based indexing uh, we can flip every character from of s from index i to n so we can select from this range from that particular index till the last index we need to flip the character means as it is binary string it will only have zeros and ones if we have a zero in this index we need to flip it to 1 if we have 1 we need to flip it to 0 okay so a example is given which is uh, 1001101 so it says that if i is 4 as discussed the indexing is from 1 so 5 6 and 7 so i is here so from this fourth index from this fourth index till seventh index these are flipped so one becomes zero and this one becomes i am zero zero to one one to zero and remaining remain other characters remain same so if you see this is what we'll get if we flip from index four to n okay so what question says us to do we need to find minimum number of operations required to turn string yes into alternating string what do you mean by alternating string here s is said to be an alternating string if the s of i and s of i minus 1 should not be equal that means the current character and the prevent char previous character should not be equal right uh, for every for every index from index 2 to n okay uh, there is one more statement it says that it can be proved that it all it's always possible to turn this given string s into alternating string okay okay so let's look at the input format so same the first thing that is given is number of test cases for each test case you'll have the size of this binary string followed by the binary string okay so here the problem statement here is you'll be given a string you need to simply convert it to the alternating string so while converting into alternating string the operation that you can perform is the operation that you can perform is you can select an index i which range from 1 to n if you select that index i you can flip from that index i till the last index till the last character you need to flip that is if you have one you need to flip it to zero if you have zero you need to flip it to one okay so this is the question so we need to output the the minimum number of operations 
to convert this string into alternating string clear with the question let's understand more with the sample input and output Okay, so the first, let's go with this, which is 0, 0, 1, 0. So how can we convert this to alternating string? So if you observe, let's go in this way. So here the previous character is equal. So what would be better if you start from flipping here? Will it make sense? If you select this index. And if you start from this index till n, will it make sense to make it as alternating string? So, no, right? The reason is, uh, if you select from this index, everything will be flipped, right? The problem here is, again, these two are matching. That should not happen. So, we need to start flipping from The next index means the index we are at. So here if you start flipping from here, now this gets flipped to 1, this gets flipped to 0, this gets flipped to 1. So if you see these are not matching. So we need to flip it from here till n. So whenever the adjacent characters are matching, you need to flip from the current index. So let's take a better example to understand more let me put this aside okay so let's take a better example uh, let's say we have one zero zero uh, one Zero, 1 0 so let's say we have this example so at this point it is not matching these two are different till this point it is an alternating string okay let's move on to next character if you see it is matching with the previous character so it is not an alternating string right so we need to convert it to alternating string so as discussed we need to flip it from this index so if you start flipping from here, it will again be equal. Again, these will be equal. So that is the reason we need to start flipping from this index. So now this gets flipped to 1, this to 1, uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 0. OK, so whenever we are performing an option operation, we need to store the count of it, right? So whenever you do this operation, you'll have a variable so you'll simply increment it right uh, okay so let's move forward uh, so let's move forward to next character again here it is matching with the previous character so again we need to make this operation right so we'll select this character from here we'll again start flipping now this one converts to zero one one 0, 1, then 0 again, then 1. Right? Uh, let's move forward to next character. Again, these are not matching, which is fine. Let's move forward to next character. Again, these are matching, right? So again, I need to start flipping from here. Right? So these converts to 0, 1, 0, 1, and 0. Let's move forward to next character. So these are this is unequal. Again not equal. Again not equal. So overall we have only made three operations. Right. So when are we performing these operations? When the previous character s of i minus 1 if it is equal to s of i. 
then we are performing this operation then we are simply doing con plus plus and one more thing do we need to perform these operations in code do we need to do this flipping in our implementation part no right it is not required this is just for your visualization purpose so if if you simply compare with the previous character if they are equal you'll simply increment the count this gives you the minimum operations that is that are required to convert the given string as to the alternating string okay i hope the logic is clear let okay so the input format here is first the number of test cases are given let's quickly calculate sorry let's quickly scan the number of test cases so to do that we need to create the scanner object uh, then we'll scan the number of test cases then we'll simply iterate for these number of times and the next thing we need to do is scan the size then the string is given by a string we need to scan it as a dot uh, next right so now we'll simply iterate on each character do we need to start from index 0 no right for index 0 there is no previous character so we need to start from index 1 from index 1 we'll simply check with previous character if they are matching we need to perform this operation so we'll simply increment the count so from int i equals to 1 i is less than n so if str of i if it is matching with str of i minus 1 simply increment this count to store this count uh, let's first declare it and initialize to 0 and at the end simply print the count you have that is minimum operations to convert the given string into alternating string right uh, in java it is st dot caret uh, i my bad uh, same here as well st of i minus 1 caret st of caret i minus 1 uh, the output is same as expected let's submit it yeah so let's go to the third problem okay so the third question here is make equal so you are given an array a of length n you can perform the following operation the operation here is you can select any index from between 1 to n and one more thing is ai is not smaller than either of its neighbors that is ai should be greater than or equal to the previous element which is ai minus 1 as well as it should also be greater than or equal to the next element which is ai plus 1 so if it is following these two conditions then you can decrease ai value by one so this is the operation that we can do so so we need to find whether it is possible to make all the elements of a equal by performing this operation several possibly zero times okay so we can uh, perform this operation as many times such that all the elements in the area at the end should be equal okay so let's quickly look at the sample input and output so let's go with the 1 3 2 1 is the array elements so we need to make all these array elements as equal so that is the agenda 
so to do that we have we can do the operation that we can do here is we can select an index i so it should be greater than the previous element as well as it should be greater than or equal to previous element as well as the next element if you see we can select 3 as it is greater than or equal to 3 sorry as it greater than or equal to 1 as well as it is greater than or equal to the next element which is 2 so we can select this and we can decrease this value by 1 right so now the array becomes 1 2 2 and 1 ok again let's select the same value same index still it is greater than or equal to 1 and it is greater than or equal to 2 so we can decrease this value by 1 so now array becomes 1 1 2 1 so if I decrease this 2 value by 1 every element will be equal right so let's try to do that let's select this index and let's see whether it is whether the next element is sorry previous element is greater than or equal to 2 here 1 is greater than or equal to 2 as well as the next element which is again 1 which is again greater than or equal to 2 sorry which is less than or equal to 2 so we can decrease this 2 by 1 now every element in the array are equal so how many operations did we perform so yeah the output is not the number of operations it is just can we make them equal or not if we can make every element of the array equal print yes or else print no what about uh, the next one let's go with this 2 4 5 1 4 5 and 3 so here it is this 5 is greater than or equal to 4 as well as 1 so we can pick this 5 and decrease it by 1 so it is 2 4 4 uh, 1 4 5 and 3 so again we can pick the same value uh, now it becomes 2 4 3 as we have decreased this value so now it becomes 3 and 1 remains same 5 and 3 uh, next we can perform with this 4 so we can select this as it is greater than or equal to 2 and greater than or equal to 3 so now it becomes 3 1 4 5 3 so let me mark the indices that have the elements that I have selected so here I have selected this currently we can uh, let's say I'm going with this 3 so I'll decrease this by 1 3 1 4 5 and 3 so I can select this now so it will be so it will be now 2 2 2 1 4 5 3 so if you observe one thing here is we cannot increase any value we cannot increase any value right we cannot increase any value what else did you observe if you see the index that we can select will range from 1 to n so we cannot select the first index we cannot select the last index which in turn means that we cannot select the first element and as well as we cannot select the last element that means that means the first and last elements cannot be changed right this is one more observation so as we need to make the array elements equal so if these cannot the first and last cannot be changed that means these should be equal right so the first and last should be equal should be equal then only we make we can make the entire array uh, equal this is one observation what else 
okay so let's continue let's say we again pick this two two one one four five three so let's pick this one 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 four and three so did you observe one more thing so the point here is if you see these values became one and also somehow we can make these two values as one as well but as we already observed we cannot change the first and last elements value so if the element in the between the first and last element if it is the minimum so by this we cannot make the array equal right because as we cannot change the first and last so we cannot make the array equal so what is the point here the minimum of if we consider the one based indexing the minimum from the second index till n minus one index it should be greater than or equal to the first and uh, let me say that It should be greater than or equal to first and last element. Then only we can make the entire array equal, right? So the things we only need to check is first thing is we need to simply check the whether first and last elements are equal or not. How you'll check it? You can simply compare array of zero with array of n minus one. And second thing that we need to check is the minimum between from index two to n minus one should be greater than the first and last. So you can get simply get the minimum by traversing or by using inbuilt function. You can get the minimum from index two to n minus one. This is one based indexing. If you basically the indices are zero based, so you need to start from one till n minus two because last index is n minus one. We need to go till the but one element. So it is n minus two index. So you'll get the minimum by iterating from index one to n minus one. You'll simply check whether this minimum is greater than or equal to array of zero or not. Uh, you can ignore with checking uh, array of n minus one. As we know that array of zero and n minus one are equal, so we need, don't need to check again with the same value. So these are the two conditions that we need to check. If the array is satisfying these two conditions then by using this operation we can make array elements equal right so let's quickly code this up let's quickly write this scanner object of the input format here is first we need to scan the number of test cases uh, simply I did these many times for each test case you will be given uh, the size of the array followed by array elements so scan the size of the array followed by create an array of size n and scan uh, each element starting from index 0 to n minus 1 so simply array of i equals to sj dot next end so we are done with the input part now the thing that we need to do is we need to find the minimum let's initialize minimum with some maximum value say integer max we'll iterate from index one we need to skip the last element and we need to skip the last sorry we need to skip the first element as well as we need to skip the last element so it should be n minus one i plus plus you will simply do minimum equals to math dot min min comma array of i so at the end what are the conditions that you need to check one is array of zero must be equal to array of n minus one the other condition is your minimum from the index one to n minus one 
should always be greater than or equal to the first or last element first and last element so in that case we can definitely make all the array elements equal so print s else simply print no as your output okay so let's run it so the output is as expected uh, let's submit yeah done okay let's move on to the next question okay so the fourth question here is good binary string so the question says that a binary string s is said to be good if there exist some k binary strings p1 p2 so on till pk such that when we concatenate them that is p1 p2 so on till pk it should be the resultant should be this string s okay so each p okay so let's uh, note it down to be a to be a good string so the characteristics are first thing here is uh, this given string s can be broken down into some into some substrings when these are arranged in sequential order it should result in s so how each of pi should be each pi should be one is it should have a even length and the other thing is each pi should contain only one distinct character so as you can see the given string is binary string that means it can either have zeros or ones so by the statement you should be able to understand that only dis one distinct character instance all the characters in this p should be either zeros or all the characters should be either one right so again there is example given uh, it says that one one zero zero is a good string because we can divide one one into a substring and zero zero into other substring same thing goes for one and one we can divide this completely into one and one one zero next example is one one zero zero and one one uh, we can divide in this way we can divide this into one substring and the next substring would be of length four and again next substring would be of length two and it is also said that the one is not a good string because it is of le odd length it is violating this first condition so it is not a good string uh, what about this one why this string is not a good string because if you try for any even length means let's try for two it will have two distinct characters right if you even try for four it will have still two distinct characters it is violating the second condition so that is the reason these two are not uh, what about this third one one zero one zero one zero same thing if you try for any even length there will be two distinct characters but we need only one distinct character in our each p so it is again violating the second condition so these are good strings where these are not i hope uh, by here you should be you should understand what is a good string right i hope you are clear with these two characteristics okay let's continue with the question let me quickly erase this part yeah so let's continue with the question let's continue with the question uh, we are here right so you are given a binary string s yes, of length n where n is even so the given length is always even and you can perform the following operations on it okay so what is the operation that we can do the operation that we can do here is we can select 
an alternating subsequence of s so and flip all its characters that is turn zeros to ones and ones to zeros note that it is allowed to choose the empty subsequence as when so which has length zero means we can uh, we do, uh, in this case we do not pick any of the subsequence from this string s so that that is the reason it can remain zero as well hence the s remains unchanged so what we need to do here uh, we need to check whether it is possible to turn s into a good string by performing this operation exactly once so the operation that we can do is we can select an index which should be alternating subsequence so this is the uh, summary for these three statements and the uh, question says us to uh, calculate not calculate uh, we need to simply convert this string as to the good string so we need to check whether it is possible to convert this string as to good string or not where we can do this operation only once right uh, if it is also find a way to perform this operation okay so if there is a way to convert this s to good string we also need to find we also need to uh, print how we are performing this operation means how uh, what are the indexes that are selected so the output should be the indices that we have selected for this alternative subsequence so there is a note of uh, a binary string is alternating if no if no two of its adjacent characters are equal yeah uh, alternating string is nothing but the uh, adjacent character should be should not be equal uh, right uh, there is one more thing it is saying that even a single character is alternating even 0 and 1 are alternating strings okay okay so let let us let's understand more with the sample input and output so let's go with this 0 1 1 0 how can we convert this to good string how can we convert this to good string the operation here the operation that we can do is we can select any index and we can flip it to 0 and the the sequence that we have selected should be alternating say previously we have picked one the next we can pick is zero say previously we have picked this zero currently we can only pick character one clear so how can we make this string as alternating sorry a good string let me write the indices as well two and three okay so how can we make this string to a good string so if you remember what are the characteristic characteristics for the good string one is each substring should be of even length as well as what is the other characteristic that it should have to be a good string the other characteristic is it should only have one distinct character that means every character should be of zero or else one okay so each pi should have should satisfy these two conditions okay so let's try to convert this to a good string so so it will be simpler if i take pairs means of length two okay so with the length 2 it will satisfy uh, the first case which is even length so let's focus on the second case which is it should only have all the characters as zeros means that substring should have only characters as zeros or else all ones right uh, so how can we convert this to a good string we are going in pairs right so we'll make each pair equal means 
will convert either this pair to 0 0 or else 1 1 ok so here to make them equal we can pick either of these two characters I can either pick 0 or else I can either pick 1 so let's say I am going with this 0 say I have picked this 0 and add it into my subsequence so this is index 0 so by this if I click this 0 now it becomes 1 now these two are equal so it will also satisfy second condition as well now let's move to next pair uh, here it is 1 0 so which character I need to convert to which character I need to flip is it 1 or 0 so if you see the subsequence that we are generating should be alternating that means the characters to the adjacent should not be equal right so here previously I picked 0 right so to make it as an alternating sequence alternating string can I pick 0 again to next to it not possible right because it will not be an alternating string so after picking 0 I can only pick 1 right so among these two I can pick the character which has 1 so I can pick this index which is 2 so I will flip it now it becomes 0 so if you see it is satisfying the second case as well as the two characters are equal means 0 0 right so the output should be ok uh, one small thing which I have missed which we have missed so in the output uh, the indices should be on one based so the output should be 1 and 3 right uh, this is one possibility but the output is 2 4 right so how we can get 2 4 how we can get uh, 2 4 so instead of selecting index 0 if I select if I select index 1 if I select index 1 in the next character I need to select is 0 right means this one so this is index 3 so as these are 0 index the output should be in the form of 1 based so you will get 2 and 4 so the there are two possibilities for this answer so if you see here the output format it is saying that there might be multiple possible solutions but you can print any of them okay let's see with some bigger string so our logic here is we are considering it as pairs so that it will always satisfy the first case we can only check for the second case that is maintaining all zeros and ones in that pair okay so let's take let's take a better example uh, something like uh, zero one 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 zero one zero one one and let's put zero over here okay so to make it simpler let's go with page okay uh, if you observe here these two characters are equal means there is only a single distinct character so this is fine no need to do any operation for this pair whatever this these two are matching no need to do any operation on this pair what about here if you see these two are not matching right so we need to pick one of these character and flip it so let's say we are flipping let me quickly write this indices as well 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 9 right so here these two are there is a mismatch so we need to convert or we need to either flip one of the character let's say we have picked the character 4 sorry the index 4 uh, 
let's say we have flipped, flipped it to zero so in our subsequence let put let's put four which is the index that we have picked okay then now it's get flipped so again these two are matching so we made an operation here right so let's move to the next page here again there is a mismatch so we need to pick either of these two characters tell me which character i need to pick so previously the character that i have picked is one so to make this sequence as alternating can i again pick one so the index presented four is one the character presented for index four is one so can i again pick one no right so if i picked one previously currently i can only be able to pick zero to make it as alternating subsequence so here zero is index seven so i'll pick index seven and flip it flip it to one right again here these two are matching no need to perform any operation so our subsequence is of size two which has index four and seven right so first you'll print the size of the subsequence followed by the indices one based so you'll print five and eight i hope the logic is clear let's jump into the code or before going to code let's quickly summarize so here we are trying to uh, do it in pairs for each pair we'll try to keep the two characters equal if it is equal fine no need to do any operation if if the characters are not equal let's say if you are at some i if it is not equal to s of i plus one then we need to perform this operation right we need to take that index before taking that index before picking the any index we need to check with the previously picked character it should be opposite of previously picked character if previously picked character is one currently we can only pick zero to make it as alternating subsequence if previously picked is zero we can only pick one clear so you need to compare with the previous previously picked character it should not be equal to uh, let's say s of a if it is not equal to s of a then we can pick uh, we can add let's say we have a subsequence uh, let's name it as answer itself let's say this is uh, initially empty so if it is not equal to the previously picked character uh, then you can simply add it to you can simply add this index into your answer array or else this is your it or else you need to add the other character you need to add i plus one the next character okay this is the summary of our discussion of the logic part let's jump into the code so first we need to take the input for that let's create the scanner object let's see the input format uh, first thing is the number of test cases so let's scan the number of test cases uh, after that we'll simply iterate for the test case number of times for each test case we need to scan the size of the binary string then followed by the string okay so we are done with the input part so the logic here is will simply scan sorry will simply iterate on this string but we are trying to do it in pairs right so instead of index by index we'll jump to two index okay so what are we doing if the characters are equal we need not do anything right if the characters are not equal then we need to make them equal such that we can form a valid pair that is valid pi so str dot caret i should be equal to st sorry if it is not equal 
then we'll perform the operation that is picking the index and flipping it uh, which index I need to uh, pick it is based on the previous picked right initially to store this uh, indices that are picked that is our alt index of the subsequence uh, let's create a dynamic array because we don't know the uh, elements that are going that we are going to pick so let's name it as answer new array list right so we need to now decide which index to pick so it is based on the previous character previously picked character so if i did not pick any character that means if my uh, subsequent size is zero then i'll go and pick i'll go and pick uh, the ith character i'll simply add it to the answer or else if the ith character let's say we do have some characters that are picked previously so i'll get the index by answer dot get uh, the last element is simply n minus 1 so to get the size it is answer dot size minus 1 so this will give me the index i need to access the character present at this index so it is str dot caret this index so if this character the previously picked character if it is not equal to str dot caret i then only i'll pick this ith character or else i'll pick the next character that is i plus one so i'll simply add i plus one over here okay so the output is first we need to print the size of the subsequence followed by subsequence indices so remember the indices are one based so first we'll print the number of subsequence are nothing but the answer size itself answer array size uh, we'll traverse on this array and we'll print the index so we are storing it as a zero based indexing the output is expecting it as one based so we'll simply add plus one to it uh, add plus one and simply add a space after printing it so at the end we can print a new line print ln uh, I think we are done uh, let's quickly run it yeah as we have discussed this is one of the possibilities that is 2 and 4 this is the other possibilities that we have printed that is 1 and 3 so which should work let's submit yeah uh, it got accepted yeah that's it guys for this video these are the first four solutions of uh, code chef starters 130 contest if you have enjoyed this video do smash that like button uh, for more such content subscribe for our youtube channel i'm harry Vardhan, signing off Thank you.